before the pandemic and before motherhood, the pandemic will always kind of go hand in hand with our uh, entry into our experience with motherhood because we had children right as the pandemic started. And um, this song for us has really morphed in its meaning. Um, to our delight, this song uh, got nominated for a Grammy the year that it came out into the world. Um, it was shocking and wonderful. We did not win. Uh, we lost to John Prime, so, uh, you know, that guy, that guy. Uh, we always think that it would have felt really yucky to take home a Grammy that was destined for John Prime, so uh, we're completely happy about that, and him winning and us losing. Um, but this song for us has, uh, it has evolved in its meaning, you know, I don't, I don't know how many of you are songwriters, but for the two of us, you, you write a song about its kind of initial inspiration, and sometimes that can evolve over time as you change or grow. Um, and this song is still about its original meaning, um, but it is, it's different for us now because we are mothers. When we wrote this song, we wrote it simply about trauma and the way that humans hurt each other in ways that are um, sometimes permanent and very devastating, either intentionally or unintentionally. And now that we are mothers responsible for raising tiny children to be grown-ups in this horrible world, um, we take this uh, responsibility quite seriously to teach our kids that um, hurting other people for any reason is not your job and it is not okay. And we firmly believe that uh, hatefulness and unkindness is taught because they came out of us perfect and pure and good. And um, so this song means that to us now. It's called Cabin. <laughs> Okay. 